Oh yeah. I'm happy. My engine's back. Yeah. Jansen Motorsports came up big on this one. Uh, 1776 with a bunch of new stuff. New tins. New dizzy cap. Fuel pump. All my lines are new. Um, I guess this is new. I don't remember actually. If this one's new or not. I think it is. But carbs are tuned. Everything's adjusted. My heat exchangers are painted, like, it's a turnkey motor. It's ready to go back in. Um, but I want to do a few things before I put it back in. First of all, and what this video is really going to be about is... Oops, hang on. There we go. New phone. I'm figuring out this is much better. Um, I'm going to put, or I'm going to take this exhaust off. And I am going to put the stock exhaust back on. So basically, this video is going to be about the stock heating and exhaust system of this motor, how it works, and um, yeah, how, how to put it all back together because I'm taking this MP exhaust off. I don't want it anymore. Um, it's disgusting, and it really doesn't, I really don't feel the need to have it. Um, I have all the pieces for it. I have the elbow. Um, the fresh air, ho the hose, the muffler, all that stuff. I have it all. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it all together. And the gaskets and everything like that. So uh, this one's going to be just, yeah, just taking the exhaust off, putting a new one on there, how it all works. And then tomorrow I'm putting this guy in. And hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to drive it. All right, let's start taking this exhaust off, and I'm gonna talk you through, um, basically, uh, what I'm not too happy about right now, and that is that I had uh, pretty much two months to gather parts for the stock exhaust setup, uh, and I didn't do it. I didn't do anything. <laughs> like, I just sat on it, and I waited until the last week when, you know, the people who rebuilt this engine, um, where they basically said, like, hey, man, it's going to be ready in a week. Then I started ordering the parts. So I had all damn, mo like, I had so much time to do it, and I just waited, and I didn't, you know. So now, like, there's certain parts that I'm waiting for for ISP West that may or may not get here today. It's Saturday. May or may not get here. Regardless, the engine is going in tomorrow because I'm in the rainy season now and I don't want this thing outside. It's not gonna rain today, it's not gonna rain tomorrow, but I'm not gonna have it sitting outside a week. If I can't get the parts I need in today, then so be it. Um, I'm just gonna have to do the work while the engine's in the car. But at the very least, I'm gonna get this exhaust off. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this is because, well, frankly, um, I see no use of having an MP quiet pack on here. I don't really care about the car being noisy. I actually want it quiet. I didn't, wouldn't spend all that time trying to, like, you know, quiet the car down with all the engine, like, all the dampening and all the other stuff that I was doing. I wouldn't have spent the time doing that. Oh, God, I need a, another... Ugh. I need a 10 mill on that, so I'll just break these loose while I'm talking to you. Um, I wouldn't have spent all this time doing it, all that sound deadening, if I was just going to put a quiet, you know, a big noisy exhaust on there. So, like, I want the stock one on there, because it's tuned for this engine, you know. Um, it'll allow me to actually get heat in the car, and I'm pretty sure that the quiet pack allows me to get heat in the car anyways. Because this goes into the uh, uh, the uh, the heat exchanger here, so obviously, like this, like the car was getting heat prior, but it wasn't getting um, the elbows that are supposed to be here um, have a fresh air bit to them that you know corresponds to a rod that goes through this little area right here that I don't have. It was just taken off, and that's one of the pieces that I'm waiting on for my SP. It's just, you know, that on both sides. 
and I want it. I want a stock setup. So if that if everything doesn't get here in time, then well, so be it. I'm just gonna have to do all the work while it's while it's in the engine. It's much easier to do the work now with everything out, so I would obviously prefer to do it now. But it's not impossible if I decide that I want to do it um, with the, everything in the end, with everything in the car itself. So whatever. So all I'm doing right now is taking off the header pipes. And then I will be taking off, so obviously a header pipe here, header pipe over there. I'm not going to take off the heat exchanger um, mounts to the engine because those were taken off by the builder and he put new gaskets in there and all that. So I don't have to worry about those. So basically everything on the back of the engine I don't really have to worry about. Uh, it's just up here in the front. Get this one off. Take this off. Put the new elbows on. Actually, I have to paint those elbows because they're pretty gross. And, you know, clean tins, clean exhaust. You know, the elbows should be nice and clean too. This sort of stinks how this is still, like, like that's kind of ratty. But I don't care enough to paint it. To, like, take the tin off and the generator off and, the, you know, the, the coil off. I don't really care that much. Um... The top of the engine is going to look slightly ratty, but I really don't want to disassemble the entire engine just to paint it. Like, it's it's a turnkey motor right now, I kind of want to keep it like that. So, uh, enough talk. I'm going to take off the bolts on the other side, loosen these bolt, loosen these clamps to the heat exchanger, and then this exhaust should just pull straight off. All right, we'll do this side in real time. Real time. Because then it should just come right off after all this nonsense. I always get freaked out by how lightly everything's torqued on this motor. Like, I know that these were recently put on, but still, like, they're probably torque to the right spec. It's probably something like 20. It's something like really tiny. And I'm just going to go ahead and crush this because I don't need that anymore. Get the real shit on there. Ugh. There's that. I don't have my 10 mil, so I'm just going to do this. I don't want to find my 10 millimeter spanner, so I just kind of don't give a shit. Needle nose, vice grips to the rescue. Try to get in here. All that yoga I'm doing is the paint off. What? Oh. It's the exhaust. It's the exhaust rust. I thought it was bleeding or something. Alright. That's off. That's off. And that's off. Cool. And I have new clamps which I, on the way, which I will probably use, but if not, whatever. I might have to jack this thing up a little bit just so you can wiggle this bad boy off. But let's get this shitty little heat hose off. This HVAC shit, it's not supposed to be on here. I'm sure it does the job, but whatever. And down here. And there we go. And now you can see the hole I was talking about. That hole right there, there's a pipe that comes out and's here. 
and it connects to the elbow right there and goes all the way back and then connects to a fresh air uh, outlet. Um, <clears throat> what is it uh, that connects to the car itself? So let's see. I may have to, because I know it's probably resting on this. Can't figure out how to get this off without, with just me by my lonesome. Let's jack it up. Let's see what happens. Boop. Is that what I want? No, this is what I want. garbage bound. All right. We got new gaskets on here? Yeah, there they are. Yeah, we got new gaskets. Yeah, they really went through everything. Um, actually, probably interesting. Uh, let me grab the invoice and I can walk through exactly what these guys did because they, they went through everything. Uh, yeah. Let me grab that. All right, so here's what was done. Uh, crankshaft, they took out the crankshaft and rods and polished and cleaned them. Um, it's a machine, the guy owns a machine shop as well. So, you know, he had the equipment to do all that stuff. Uh, new cam gear and lifters, new main rod cam bearings, gasket set, hardware, cam plug, screen, I don't know what that is. Pistons and cylinders, basically the 1776 kit. Uh, rocker shafts, push rod tubes, which were leaking, and probably the main reason why I pulled this engine in the first place, and then spark plugs. And then the fuel pump, uh, he replaced with a uh, Brazilian model. And then, assembling the whole damn thing. So, you know, obviously doing the cylinder heads, uh, aligning and boring, uh, decking the, the case, boring the heads, boring the case, uh, assembly, and then, you know, painting the tins and putting all that stuff together. So. Uh, he really went through everything. Like, I like the attention to detail of, like, these uh, case half nuts. They're nylock washers. Um, you know, he marked down, you know, pretty much everything. Fuel hoses are <clears throat> the new style, which won't get eaten up by the American gas that we have. Um, balance the car, balance and tune the carbs apparently because he had he bench ran this so like that's set, timing set, valve adjustment set like everything's like it's it's a turnkey motor it's ready to go so I'm super happy with it. Um, and as far as the rest of this video, I wanna I mean I got time now because I don't know if I'm gonna get those parts that I need today. So, at the very least, I can install the elbows. And maybe I can install the muffler? I don't know. We'll see. Okay, fresh out of the junkyard. Elbows. A pair of these guys. Um, so they basically go like this. Or is it like this? I think this, yeah. It goes like, you know, like that? Maybe it's the other way. I got a pair of these bad boys. I think it's like that. Or is it? Fuck, man. I gotta look at a manual how this all works together. Actually, no, I think this is that side. Yeah, so this is this side. So I actually have to look at a picture of how this all goes together, but... Yeah, this replaces... This. Pretty sure, like one of these just goes right over the. Uh, one of these is like that, it just goes right over the heat exchanger. I don't know if these are right actually. Hmm, now I'm thinking. You know, it's bad news when I start thinking. It should just be. 
working on it. Well, I'm gonna have to take a look. But anyways, uh, these are the parts that go here. This little fresh air little nozzle that points back, that goes to that piece that I'm missing that goes in that hole right there. Um, and that's what connects that, so. I gotta look at a parts manual. Let's see what the hell this all is supposed to look like. Because that's honestly the reason why I'm making this video. Because I had no idea how the stock heating and exhaust setup was. Because everybody seems to have an aftermarket exhaust on their Type 3. And like, no, like it's very, very rare I've seen someone who just has a stock setup. But I want the stock setup. So maybe I'm weird. I don't know, maybe everyone knows something that I don't. Anyways, um, be right back. Okay, I gotta figure it out now. So, this connects to the muffler. That connects to the muffler. These two connect to the muffler. This one goes and connects to another piece of the muffler, I think. I think. Like, there's a piece of the muffler that basically connects all these three. Um, so yeah, it is correct. It is how it's supposed to be. I just need to get the muffler on there. Um, I just don't know how I'm going to do it with this little stand I got. But you know what? I really don't have a whole lot else to do today, so I might as well just try and figure it out, huh? But I'm definitely going to paint these guys up because yuck. And also, like, these, both of these ports were taped on both of these. So I guess a lot of people just don't bother with it? I don't know. But if Volkswagen wanted it, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do what Volkswagen thought was best. And I ain't going to try and reinvent the wheel here. So I'll be back once these are painted. Stock muffler. Picked it up from a guy in San Francisco, believe it or not. And this won't fit. Uh, from San Francisco uh, for 50 bucks. Restored with the proper heat shielding and all that stuff on there. And uh, the heater boxes up here, which actually connect to the engine. So it'll make much more sense later. But these guys, these guys right here, connect to the engine. Um, connected by a large nut to the uh, muffler itself. So what I'm going to try and do first off is just get these guys on the, um, what is it called? On the studs and then kind of take it from there. This one's way loose. This one isn't so much. This one's kind of like, like straight on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get this one on. Uh, first and then adjust that one. That one's loose, so I'm gonna have to put a wrench on this big-ass nut here and um, Hopefully that'll work, but right now I don't have a whole lot of working space so Well because of this because uh, the heat shield so uh, there's a bunch of itty-bitty little uh, Bolts here, I'm gonna remove all them remove the heat shielding and hopefully that'll give me a little bit more room to work. I just hope that I have enough room to fit this thing on here and still keep it on the jack. If not, I'm gonna have to do all this while the engine, while the friggin' uh, exhaust is in the car, or while the engine's in the car, which is gonna be pretty uh, cumbersome because this thing is, it's got some weight to it for sure. So hopefully I can get this all done. Um, yeah, hopefully I can do it all myself. But next step is to remove these itty bitty little bolts. All right, hopefully this is good video. So what I'm gonna do, so what I've done is I've loosened the nuts up on top of here uh, that hold these heater boxes on um, because it's apparent to me that this has to fit over the heat exchanger, like this had like there's a lot of things that need to fit and these need to be like risen up and loose so that you know there's play and movement to be able to do all the things I need to do. So, I just have the camera pointed on this side. There's where it's trying to go, right there. 
Uh, so hopefully you can see sort of like how this is uh, supposed to go on. And hopefully, like, once everything is hooked up, it'll sort of align itself. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, I can try and do this damn thing. Just trying to get this guy down. Sort of, kind of. Uh-oh, am I hitting? A little bit, huh? I don't do that. Right, so... What should I try and line up first? Maybe... Heater box? An exchanger, maybe? You... Or should I lower the heat exchangers? I should probably... Yeah. I should probably lower the heat exchangers. Give myself a little bit more wiggle room. Okay. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna loosen up the mounts on the heat exchangers. Alright, so, as you can see, this gotta go over there. This has gotta go on top of that. And obviously that's gotta go in here. So, obviously like this I think needs to go down so that this can slip over it. This is the female end. So I'll give myself a little bit more clearance. Um, there's a mount down right there that this attaches to. I'll loosen that, see if it gives me some play. If not, I'll have to go back to um, basically the header side of the rear exhaust, of the rear of the engine, loosen that up too. And then I'll definitely have enough room to wiggle my heat exchanger around a little bit and give me a little bit of room. So, all right, progress, I think. Okay, there are two I don't know if you can see them, but underneath the tin, there's two uh, little mounts at the bottom here. Oh, so, the bottom side of this, I don't know if you, that came up, there's two mounts at this bottom tin here uh, for the heat exchanger. Loose, took those out, and now I have all sorts of room to fit that over that. So, um, there's also wiggle room. Because I'm thinking now about this tube that comes through here and connects to the elbow here. Um, there's a little bit of wiggle room here because connecting those two pieces, there's a little silicon hose um, that you have to make up about an inch of space. So there's definitely room to move around. So I can still do that when the engine's out or the engine's in. So I'm gonna loosen up the other side heat exchanger. Okay, take two. Let's see if this will work. I guess what I need to do is just fit the, just get it over the exhaust studs, and it should be good to go. This guy here. And there goes one heat exchanger. One. Come on. One. That's the other side. Two. Cool. It's on there. Nice. Now this should be able to just fucking... Ah, yeah, now this has to go on here. But now it seems to be hung up on something. That side doesn't have a problem. What's going on over here? Why are you being not so cool? What are you hung up on? No, oh, you're hung up on the tin. Are you hung up on the tin? You are hung up on the tin. <laughs> Starting to figure this out a little bit more. Maybe I have to hook up the bottom of the heat exchanger to the exhaust before I do anything else. Maybe I gotta do that. Hmm. Um, 
there is a sequence of events that I am not understanding fully. Hmm. Let me think about this. Oh, so I'm not exactly sure um, if the way I did it is actually the correct way to do it, but it's in. And the way I did it was to unscrew this, just have the heater box, put that on there, get the heat exchanger to link up in there, um, base, and uh, yeah, have that. And then, like, take this nut off so that this is all by itself, and take the muffler and fit the bottom side. You can see it fit the point from here. Fit the, get that bottom side in there and then get this spun on, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but you know, you spray a little uh, silicone on there and it'll make it spin a little bit easier. And then, like, eventually this will catch its thread and you're, now you're linked up. So, like, I really don't know if that's the way that they intended for this to be done, but that's the way that I did it. And it worked. Now this is all together and I just hope that when I install it in the car tomorrow, I don't have to take this back off because of like clearance issues, hopefully. I doubt it, I highly doubt it, because I think these things all, like yeah, they, they come out as one piece, they should go in as one piece. So, I have to go to the parts store to get a clamp, an exhaust clamp, that fits the heater box to heat exchanger. Because uh, I got 2.25, clamps and they're too big so I think I just need straight up uh, two inch clamps and that should be fine however for this top part here for the top of the uh, engine I have two and a half uh, 2.5 inch or no yeah 2.25 inch silicon hose and that fits perfectly like that's just exactly what we need but the thing is is with this I can use a like regular old clamp like this, um, but for the metal to metal connections down there, I need something beefier like this exhaust clamp. So I gotta go find me a two inch, shouldn't be too hard considering that like the two inch exhaust clamps are, you know, should be fairly um, plentiful. But I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. This is now on there, uh, I get a clamp for that, then I can hook up the or actually uh, then I'll tighten everything up and then hook up the elbow because the elbow has you know, because of this silicon like it has a lot of wiggle room so I don't really have to have everything loose like here in order to get it to fit up right so that's good and it's uh what almost two I think it's time for lunch uh and a smoke break and then I can start hooking everything back up and it fits on my lift. How about that? All right, sun's going down. Good thing, because we're done. Oh, so this is solid as rock now. Got the heat shields back on. And yeah, these guys are back on. Clamped down. Had to cut the silicon hose I got a little bit. Uh, two and, two and, 2.25 is enough, but you could get a, get away with two for sure, but 2.25 still clamps. Um, and yeah, so hopefully, because I definitely learned something, but hopefully like now everyone kind of knows how the stock exhaust hooks up. And I definitely wouldn't recommend to do this without like having it off the car, like having the engine out, oh my god, makes it so much easier, because I can't imagine struggling with this. Ugh, what a pain it would be, but it's all done. It's solid. Everything's tightened up, these nuts are tightened up, that, 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 everything. Everything's tightened up. So yeah, it's good. There you go. Nice, neatly little packaged engine.